who do people say you are? Brothers and sisters, you will be very surprised at what people think about you. That's why you see, it is not wise to go after people's opinion. Do not go after what people think about you. Because those who you move with, those who think you know you, do not actually know who you really are. They have no clue of what God has placed in you. Some of you think your family knows who you are. Some of you think your friends, your best friend thinks uh, you are this or this. But they do not know. If God can show you what people think about you, some of you, you may never even want to associate yourselves with them. Because there are some people on the outside, they pretend as though they mean good for you. They pretend as though they give you a picture of what you want to see. And yet inside them, they think evil about you. They think all sorts of things about you. Jesus tested it. And uh, today's word is from the book of uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 19. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 19. And it reads, When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Glory to God. This is a similar situation. Jesus asked the people around him, including his disciples, that who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? It is amazing at how many answers, at how many people started guessing of what Jesus was. Notice that these people moved with him. These people ate food with him. But they had no idea of who Jesus was. Some of you are staying in the same house with people. You are staying in an apartment. Some of you are working with different types of people. Or you go to the same church, but they do not know who you are. They can try to guess. They can try to figure out, but they will not know who you are. Unless it is the Spirit who has revealed to them. Unless it is God in heaven who reveals to them who you really are. And some of your enemies, when they know who you really are, they will start attacking you. They will start coming up against you. They will start saying all sorts of words to put you down. Now, the scripture says, um, So, uh, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Notice that all these answers were wrong. Jesus was not John the Baptist. Jesus was not uh, Elijah. Jesus was not Jeremiah. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who has come in the flesh, is the Son of God. All these people moved with him for all those years. But they had no idea of who he was. Now, 15 says, He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Notice that all their answers were based on what others have, have been saying. They got their information from other people, from rumors. That's why you see, it is important that you do not get your information from different sources, from unverified sources. From rumors. Do not do that way. 
Do not act that way. Get your information from God because the word of God is truth. Jesus is truth. Now he turned to them and said, but who do you say that I am? It is only one person that was able to say the right answer. Now the scripture says, Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon, but Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Notice, for someone to clearly know who you really are, it has to be from the source. It has to be from the creator of the, the universe. It is the Father in heaven, God in heaven, who reveal to them who you are. If it is not God, then it is just some mere rumor that is just passing around. When people say that you are weak, just leave them because you are strong in Christ Jesus. They actually do not know who you are. When people say that you cannot do it, they have not read the word because the word says that you can do all things, not some things, but all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can do all things. Notice there is nothing that is impossible for you. Because you are, if you are in Christ Jesus, you are a new creation and you can do all things. When people start, to start referring you to your past, they actually do not know who you are. They know your past, but they do not know right now who you really are. Because scripture says, for, tho for those that are in Christ Jesus are a new creation. So you are a new creation. If you used to be a drunkard, if you used to be a smoker, if you used to be somebody who does things that are not good, you are no longer that person. You are a different person. You are born of God. So people do not know who you are. The people who are attacking you, some of them have no idea of who you are. If they knew who you are, imagine the people who crucified Jesus. If they clearly knew who Jesus was, they wouldn't have crucified him. They wouldn't have beaten him if they knew who they were beating up. Some people do things out of ignorance. That's why you see the scripture says that my people perish because of ignorance. It is lack of knowledge. Now, I love what the scripture says in verse 18. It says that, and also I say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Notice that the gates of Hades, that is hell, will not prevail against the church. You are the church of Jesus Christ, and the gates of hell will not prevail. It will not prevail, brothers and sisters. You are the body of Christ. So whatever the, the enemy has up against you, it will not work. Conclusion, in verse 19 says, And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. You have the power in you because God has given you that power. Brothers and sisters, I am grace. And if you have been blessed by this message and this ministry has been a blessing to you and you want to uh, be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so. And you can do so through my PayPal account, which is in the link in the description. Or you can find my PayPal account in my about section. And God will bless you. God will increase in you. Brothers and sisters, and until next time, shalom.